Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome to my very first devlog. I want to talk to you about the project I've been working on. Let's start it. I was playing Fortnite with my friend and then this happened. Oh my god, I got an idea. Oh my what is god. It? What is it? You know, I'm a developer. For real? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I knew that. What if I create a game for us to play together? <laughs> And just like that, it was the beginning of a long journey. Let's start by the obvious first step, search for an engine. Of course, the first one is going to be Unity. Well, it has been here for years now or so. I guess it makes sense. It's free and a lot of people are using it. I say I should give it a try. Alright, let's download it and create a new project, I guess. I don't think it's going to take too long. It's a new project after all. All right, it's time for coffee, I guess. Wait, are you kidding me? It's still going on? Oh my god! All right, I get it. I'm gonna speed up the process just a little bit for you. It's gonna take a long time. I've been waiting for about 4 minutes now, I'd say. It's probably worth it. Look at this project. It's amazing. It's beautiful. All the lighting and stuff, the models. It's amazing. I love it. Although, again? Another loading? Dang, okay. Just gonna work a little bit with Unity, I'd say. Another one? Dude, are you kidding me? Well, I don't know if this is my computer or what, but... It feels like I'm not doing anything and Unity is constantly loading and stuff that I don't even know. Like even just getting back in the editor after editing a script, it's it's amazing, wow. Okay, let's say we ignore all the loadings of Unity, it was still pretty fun to use. I mean, I've been using DOTS and ECS capability and it was pretty promising. I've also been using the netcode of DOTS and Wow, that's pretty cool. Again, I don't know if this is only me, but by the time I was using it, I had a lot of crashes. So, I don't know, for me, Unity is just a lot of loading and a lot of crashes. What about we try another engine? And not really surprising, it's Unreal. I'm not an expert, but this is probably the most powerful one, right? I mean, they're running Fortnite and they created a Matrix demo or something? Wow. I think I'm gonna search for a tutorial while we wait for the download to be completed because let's be honest, this is quite heavy. So, alright, that's fit for me. A perfect beginner video. A few moments later. Wait a minute, so this is how people are programming their game with Unreal Engine? Wow, okay, I was expecting a little bit of code to be written here, but. I guess this is all blocks. I mean, not that this is bad, but I don't think that it fits for me. I really wanted to write some codes with my game. I say let's move on. Well, Game Maker is mostly for 2D games, so I'm gonna skip it. Alright, sounds cool. Well, the next one is God Attention, and I gotta say, this one looks pretty cool, pretty promising. Um, a lot of stuff is going on on this page. And that engine is also supporting 2D games and 3D games, so that's nice. And it also supports C Sharp now, so I'm gonna try it. One of my biggest concerns about Godot was the networking aspect. I found that YouTube channel which was talking about it, and that gave me a lot of hints about all the networking stuff. You should probably follow the channel. The thing is, I really wanted my game to run on an authoritative server. Honestly, I couldn't find much on the internet about the tutorial, especially on Godot, so I found that amazing article which was talking about all the basics about networking and simulation and wow, it was amazing, still not specific to Godot. Then I thought, what are Unity developers doing? What library are they using? I mean. Does they have a alternative server? I found several options from Unity Dads to Photon. I also found that one, Darkrift 2, which was 
free. Amazing. Then I started to have a bad idea. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard, you imbecile. What if I take that library that is specific to Unity and I import it into Godot? Well, that really feels like cheating, but I gotta try it. It's so exciting. I mean, what could go wrong, right? I'm already using a C-sharp version of Godot, so why not? I found a pretty cool tutorial about how to create an authoritative server with Unity and Dark Rift to create a shooter. That's cool. The only thing left I had to do was to import it inside of Godot and to try it. I created some connectors using c -sharp script and I gotta say, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I followed all the tutorial and then voila! That worked. And just like that, I added Dark Rift to server running inside of Godot and a client that exactly as in the article I was able to fill in a name and join a room. Wow, and again, that wasn't that bad. I can move, I can jump, and I can join with another player. Wow, okay. The logic was pretty similar to what I could have done with Karat um, with using the default implementation in it. So at this point, I don't see the advantage of using Dark Rift 2 over Vanilla Godot. Alright then, I believe this is the time for another bad idea, create my own network library using Godot. I want it to be strong, to be a network. It's Godot, right? And it's a library, so perfect. One eternity later. It took me some time to figure out everything, but still, my library allows me to have authoritative movement with client side prediction and interpolation. Sounds cool, right? Boring! Alright, I get it, you wanna see the result. I was able to do pretty much what I was doing with Dark Rift 2. I have a server running with clients that connect, um, and I can move, jump, rotate, exactly what I need for my game. Wow! And now I have something that is reusable, I can use that library over all my project. That's cool. I've also added some goodies in my library, like a message service. For instance, right here, the client did just register a callback for a message that the server sent, and vice versa. I think it's pretty cool. Um, let's see the result. So both clients are sending a message, and you can see that the server is also answering. I think we're good to go. It's probably time to include our library in our main project. I don't have footage of everything, but here's the, the client and the server in my main project. Both scenes have about the same nodes. Here's the code for the server. As you can see, I'm inheriting from the server from my library. And on the client side, I'm only sending the inputs of writing my method. All of this to be server authoritative and then both the client and the server applies input. On the client side, this is executed right away, so it creates client-side prediction. I've also implemented my message service, so all my clients can know when another player gets it. On the client side, we also have the interpolation, so we are interpolating the translation and the rotation and stuff, all using an interpolation factor given by the library. And I think that's it. That's not that complicated, I'd say. It's time for some Blender as a tradition, delete the cube. Okay, my Blender skills are really limited. Uh, to create that simple gun, I followed the tutorial on the channel Single Sapling Games that was pretty well explained, although I'm just really bad in Blender. This is an accelerated footage of something that took me hours to do. Oh my god, trust me, this is the last time I do a model in Blender. Never again, too much painful. Five minutes later. Hey, hey I lied. Here I am again in Blender, but that's fine, we're done. Time. Here is the final result of all we created, the library, the models and stuff, all included in one single project. Finally, we're here. We have a server running, we had a client, and here we go. And oh yeah, you didn't see it, but we have a pistol. Hey, <laughs> amazing, right? Here we are with two clients connected. They're they both see each other, they can move around, they can jump, pretty amazing and say, hey, oh, you don't 
No it as well, but we also have sound. Hey, that's it folks, that was the first devlog of my game, I hope we're gonna see each other next time.